Finn Harps caught the eye with an organised display against Derry City last time out. On Friday, they faced a Cork City side still seeking their first positive result of the season. City with three consecutive league defeats welcomed Finn Harps to Turners Cross, desperate to get their first points of the season. But the visitors spurned an early opportunity for Dave Webster with a lot more time than he thought. On a difficult night for football, with howling wind and rain lashing the cross, Finn Harps, who had taken four points from their opening two games, fashioned another chance when a poor clearance fell to the feet of Rory Harkin, who shot across goal. Cork didn't really get going in the early stages of the first half. A lovely through ball from Barry McNamee picked out Carlos Sullivan. But Liam Boson narrowed the angle and then saved with an outstretched leg before City were able to clear. At the other end, Dara O'Connor stepped over a City free kick, allowing Dara McGlade to fire in a dipping shot, which Mark McGinley did well to handle in the visiting goal. Harps, though, were the more threatening of the two sides in the first half. This the most controversial moment of the opening 45. Carlos Sullivan set up Harkin, who fired in a shot, which Liam Boson in the city goal failed to hold, and Alex Cogler on debut forced the rebound to the net. Cogler thought he had scored, and the deal referee Neil Doyle looked like he'd signalled that the goal stood. Boson was left in the heap. It was a loose ball, which Cogler pounced upon before forcing it home. The referee consulted with his assistant, and then ruled out the goal for the challenge as the city keeper would stretch it off before the break. Playing into the shed end in the second half, there was much more from the home side. Deshan Dalling, back from suspension, brought in a save from McGinley before Barry McNamee was able to half clear. But the ball got stuck and City retrieved it. Charlie Fleming first had a shot before forcing it wide to Dara O'Connor who then crossed it from the byline and was eventually forced out for a city corner. And from that corner by Dylan McGlade, City hit the front on 54 minutes through Alec Byrne's header. Finally, City scored their first goal of the season. Joy for Byrne and the City fans. Dalling, the 21-year-old on loan from Queen's Park Rangers, seemed to be reveling in the conditions and despite the pleadings of Garrett Morrissey, Dalling shot himself, it hit the post, and O'Connor put it to the empty net, only for the goal to be ruled no good for offside. Finn Harps did get one last chance to equalise before the end. Cogler, the 22-year-old Austrian, headed across into the path of Ryan Connolly. Connolly raced into the area before picking out Cogler again. With McNulty beaten, City were grateful to Ronan Hurley, who kept City's lead intact. Neil Fenn could now sense that his side would pick up their first win of the season. And courtesy of Alec Burns' 54th minute header, they did. Relief all round for the city management, fans and players. The first defeat of the season for Finn Harps. At the cross it finished, Port City won. Finn Harps nil. Obviously, it's a relief, and, and to get a clean sheet and to win a game one 0 is is good for us, and it, it means we've got points on the board now, and we can we can we've got that monkey off our back, and we can kick on now. The linesman saw it as being a foul. He flags, but he didn't flag. He made his way back to the halfway line. But to be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll give the bench in Cork huge credit. You know, they they played for it, and we'd have done the same. There's no animosity that way. It's just the turn of events from whether it was a foul or not. We looked at it again. It was there to be won with 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 Alex. Uh, but look, I, 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 I hate speaking about that when we lose. It'd be great to have got a draw and I could have said it. But it needs to be corrected because the linesmen had a, had a very, very poor day. But so had I and so had some other players.